Okay, so I'm actually going to go here and change the, so this is part three of the um, automata box to change to assemble it. So I'm going to actually go in and change the, um, the extrude of this axle just because um, I just have a feeling that it's not going to be long enough. So I'm going to do from five to five and a half. Okay, and you can make it longer if you need to, but now when I go to assembly, I'm going to go ahead and insert the box. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and insert the cam mechanism. Okay, I'm going to hit check, isometric, and I'm actually going to uh, fix this box. So right click, fix, so it doesn't move anymore. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mate this axle into um, this um, the holes here. So I'm going to use the sub revolute mate. Let me zoom in. I'm going to grab this end here and then go to the right view and then grab this side so it should snap right in here it should okay let me double check what oh no i clicked the box wrong twice so go back to the um the ending axle right oh i put it the wrong way okay the edge of this right here that's the game point and then i'm going to made it to the hole right here. Um, okay. Okay. So let me let me try that again. So revolute make connector. So go here, grab this end, and then to the side of the box. Like that. Okay, that's better. And then we'll offset it here in a second. Um, I'm going to offset it to be, um, I believe 0.25 should do it, uh, maybe, okay, yeah, I want a little bit more on the other side to put my handle in, so about a half an inch, I'm going to accept that, so then now I'm going to, um, <clears throat> fasten my handle on, so go to fasten, I'm actually going to grab the bottom of my handle right here. I'm going to fasten it to the right side of this. And then I'll offset it here in a second. So it's going the opposite way. Let's see if I can switch it. Yep, so now it's going the right way. And I'm going to offset it. Um, I believe 0.25 should do it. Let's see should be flush with that okay or you can move it in if you do 0.3 you can see a little bit of um you know the axle the the axle so i'm going to accept that and let's check to make sure that it's um spins okay and it does now the next thing i'm going to need is i'm going to need a few copies of this so i'm going to go over here to the follow around the tip, go to copy, and I'm gonna paste uh, five times. Okay, okay. So I have uh, five followers for all my axle, and I'm gonna start mating my um, axle into my cam into my my box. So the first one I'm going to do is the um, the circle cam, and I'm gonna use the uh, fasten mate. I'm going to fasten all these in, so make sure I'm at the center, check, go back to my box, I'm going to go to front view, and then I'm going to, it's going to fasten in the middle, and you're going to have to offset it. Okay, to play around with the values a little bit, but I um, was able to get it to be about 2.1 of an inch going that way, so that it's directly below the first hole. Okay, and you're going to do the same for all of these. So I'm going to fasten my um, concentric ones. So I'm going to grab the center here. And then your isometric front view. I'm going to fasten it here so it goes that way. And then I'm going to offset this again. So I'm going to play around with the values so that it's directly underneath the second hole. Okay, and I got it to be about 1.35 inch, so you might have to play with it depending on uh, where it's fastened, and then just go through all of the, all of it. 
Go ahead and grab your pair. Grab the pair this way. Isometric and um, so it's facing that way and I'm gonna offset play with the offset a little bit. So I got it to be about 0.6 um, lines up pretty nicely. Now I'm gonna go the other direction. So the cool thing is if you go the other direction you just do um, the same number that you got. So I'm gonna do the, the hex and that's gonna go here. Make sure the blue line is facing that way. And then I'm going to offset that. Should be negative 0.6 since you're going the opposite way. No, no. So let me play around with that. Okay, so I did mine at negative 0.18. I'm just going to play around with the values a little bit. Okay, and then check that we're going to put the this snail cam in. I'm gonna go back and be fasten. And most of it is just you kind of playing around with it and making sure you know you're able to see it. Fasten that in. I'm not gonna start offsetting that. So I got it to be about 0.9 in and that works. And then the last one will be my heart. Cam. So I'm going to fasten, glue to the heart, flat, highlight line, and then let, let me offset that. I believe I was able to get to be about negative 1.7. You might have to change this um, as you're working on it, um, but as long as it's in for now, let's just check to make sure it moves. So I'm going to isometric, and then I'm going to crank this, and all of your pieces, if you did this right, as you're cranking it, it should, um, it should all move. So, okay, okay, and now you can um, animate this as well. You right click, animate, and um, you can say you can put it on a, a loop and. Let's make this up a little bit. Let's say 10. It should be able to animate that. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the slider mate and put this all through the hole. And then we're going to use the tangent mate to um, follow it along the curve. So pick your slider mate. Um, highlight the, the tip of the rounded edge. And then go to your top view. And then you're going to put that one here. Okay. You're just going to go through and do that for all of this. Okay, so as you see, it goes all the way through. So um, we do not want that. So let me, oops, let me fix that direction. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so that's better. And then I'm going to hit check. You should be able to slide it um, up and down. Okay, so if it's not in the right position, make sure that you put it in the right position. Okay, and then, so then now you're gonna go to the tangent um, mate. So this is the tangent mate, and then you're going to um, select the the rounded the rounded tip and then you're going to select the face that's going to um, so if you look right here it goes all the way through the edge of the the cam so just switch the position and then it should be good okay so you're going to do that to all of the um, all of the cam mechanisms okay so first I'm going to use my slider mate and I'm going to grab the um, this end right here. Make sure it's sliding the direction I want it to go. So I don't want it to go up. I want it to go. Oops, wrong one. Oh my gosh, come on. 
So I want the blue to go um, sideways. And then I'm going to grab, go to the top of this and then do the same thing. And then you might have to change the direction. So flip the direction, hit check, and then you're going to use the tangent mate. Um, whoops, before we use the tangent mate, let's make sure that this slides up and down. Okay. And it does in the direction that you want it to go. So now we're going to use the tangent mate. So let's grab the tangent mate. And then um, grab the rounded tip and then the edge. Okay. And it goes all the way through. All you have to do is flip it and it should be good. Okay. And then if you start cranking it, it will do what's supposed to do and move you, the, and then it's going to move the mechanism. So you're going to do that for all of the, the other shapes as well. Okay, so we're going to use the slider mate again. So slider mate, go from the side, check, and from the top, check. It's upside down, so let me see if I can flip it right side up, check. And then I should be able to slide this up and down, and it does. Then use my tangent mate rounded. Let's be rounded, and then we're going to grab um, the edge right here. And it doesn't need to be flipped because it lands right on that, and then check. Okay. So I'm going to grab my slider mate again. <laughs> slider mate and then I'm going to okay we're going to do the same thing grab the slider mate um, edge go to this hole right here flip it hit check and then it should move up and down go to your tangent mate zoom in grab the tip and then grab this part if it goes all the way through, just flip the axis. Hit check. That doesn't work, so let's see why. Okay. So I have to flip it the other way, and then that works. As long as you can see the rounded edge on the surface, you should be set. And then we have two more, so here's another one. So let me grab the slider mate right here and then grab this top part, flip it, um, check, make sure it moves in the direction you want it to move. Okay, and it does. And then we're going to do this, the tangent mate, front, ball, grab the snail good actually so check and then my last rod is right here let me grab my slider mate zoom in make sure it's not the blue part isn't facing up it should be facing forward so it slides and then go in the top view make sure grab that go to isometric I need to loop not limit let me switch it Except, make sure it slides the way you want it to. If not, you're just going to have to um, make sure that the axis is in the right direction. And then we're going to go to the tangent mate, and then grab the the tip of the follower, and then um, and then the, the heart. Okay, and that's it. And then when you animate it, it should it all should you know move in the direction that you of the cam direction okay you might have to play around with it um but that's it